Hello, y'all. We're going to talk about what your intuition is trying to tell you. Okay, we have pile one. This is pile two. And we have pile three. I'm going to hold them all up so you're able to decide on your pal. And you can click pause so you can view it all at the same time. Oh, it's kind of backwards, my bad. You do it like this. Yee. All right. One, two, and three. Okay, let's get into it. Hello, pal one. If you chose um, the sugarlight sugar light this is for you all right so i'm back um sugar light so basically what i'm getting here is whoever is lying to you they're lying about who they truly are they're not really who they were i heard war so you guys could have dated this person or you could have spent time with this person this could be a family member in the closet someone could be closeting themselves like on a dl here doesn't have to be, but this is what I channeled the first thing I took a look at this. Uh, because someone here is not living the whole truth. They're not really who they are. They're just not. Um, hmm. <laughs> I just heard someone is lying about their height. That's interesting. Someone is lying about how tall they are. So some of y'all could be on these dating apps. Be mindful of who you date. Because, you know, on online dating, some people are just not honest. Okay? They want to portray themselves as someone different so you can like them. Okay? Make sure you're, you're asking the right questions. Okay? We have transcendence. Okay? Okay? So someone is really doing their best to kind of create an illusion so you can believe that they're someone that they're not. Um, you have inspiration, but they're inspired by you. Um, they think that you have amazing traits and everything, and that's why they want to become close to you. And that's why they pretend to be someone that, that they think that you would like so they can be close to you. They like being around you. They consider you as a good friend or a good dating partner. However, they just, I'm sorry, they're fake. They're not in their own nature. They're not, they're not themselves. This could be someone who really wants to be in your friend group, okay? Like, they want to be in the it crowd, okay? So they pretend to be the, the it factor so they can, so they can be around you. Like, pal one. Whether you know it or not, you have this it factor, and this person wants to be around it. They want to indulge in that energy that you exude, and they feel like if they was who they really were, you wouldn't want to be around them, okay? If you have connection to nature, yeah. They're not, like I said, they're not connected to their own nature. They don't show you who they really are. Inner strength. And they do their best. Oh, they do their their best to hide what they really are and who they truly are and what they really want and how they really feel and just to appease you. Some of y'all don't even know this. Like, this can be, like, a really good friend of yours. I heard some of y'all like to go to the shopping mall together, go to the mall together, or you guys used to. So y'all used to do, like, if you're a female, like, if you go out with, like, a... um. We call that girlfriend dates. You have, like, you know, dates with your girlfriends and stuff. There's someone here who does their best to present themselves in a way that's approvable. Like, I don't know. They want to be approved. They want to be chosen. They want to be picked. I'm not saying this person is a pick-me, but for you, they are a pick-me, if that makes sense. That's basically what I'm saying. Remind this person that they can be themselves here. Like, they can truly express their their political... Because Pal One, I think you guys have really strong ideologies, affiliations, viewpoints, beliefs. 
And this person might have opposing beliefs, ideologies and stuff. And this person might want to kind of hold that back, swallow that down. Um, because they don't want you to know you guys' differences. Um, so you might think you and this person is just alike, but y'all also have y'all y'all also have differences here. And this person doesn't want it to be known. Yikes. So remind um if you know who this is, just remind them that hey you can be yourselves around me. I'm not gonna judge you, even though we have like imposing differences and some shit like that. Also, for some of y'all, y'all can be dating someone or in the past y'all dated someone who was on the DL, on the down low, okay? Or they wasn't open about their bisexuality or their pansexuality. I have nothing against um, homosexuality, bisexuality, pansexuality. I have nothing against that at all. But I'm all about live your truth, man. Like, <laughs> live your truth. <laughs> okay, so... This person might like women, if you're a woman or feminine um, energy. Um, this person might like women, but they possibly like men as well, okay? And I'm not trying to scare anyone, and I'm not saying that all guys that you date are like that. But y'all could have dated someone in the past that you question, like, does he even like me or, or whatnot? Um, I think they were just kind of afraid and holding back because they probably didn't want you to find out. Very interesting. I heard some of y'all could have drank, like, drank tea together. Okay, y'all drank tea together. <laughs> they want me to say that. We have abundance. A lot of you guys can have, like, a bougie lifestyle or carry yourselves in a very bougie way. Um, this person might have come from the hood, might have come from a broken down family. And they do their best not to show that. Because they think that's that's not acceptable, <laughs> you know. Like someone here is afraid of being ratchet around you. Okay, they're afraid of being ratchet around you. I'm hearing they want to kind of come off as bougie as well. We have inner beauty. This person does not realize their inner beauty. They don't realize how amazing they are. They don't, they don't realize how strong they are. They don't understand how amazing they are around you. Holy fuck. Yeah, someone come talk to this person. Like, if this is one of your friends, please tell them, like, hey, you're worthy, even though you differ from other people. It's okay to be different, man. It, just live your truth. Because I feel like that's what good friends would do. Just saying. This person might not even be your friend no more, okay? Y'all could have had a split up or a breakup, okay? Like, this could be your ex-best friend, ex-friend, ex-lover, okay? That you might need to forgive here, or they need to forgive you, okay? This is interesting, <laughs> okay um to help you identify this person for some of y'all y'all used to have x e x twice a day i don't know that's what they want me to say okay <laughs> uh we have gratitude like, this person really is grateful that they gotten to know you and everything, but I don't think you really gotten to know who they really were. You understand? Yeah, they were so enchanted and inspired by you. You are, you're, you're actually someone who influenced them of who they are today. Okay? Like, you inspired them in terms of their personality traits, how they act, how they walk, how they talk. So, whether they publicly accredit you for this or not like you actually influence who they are today like i heard big sister so you were kind of like a big sister to them or a big brother to them you have basically contribute to this person's transformation this person changed after they they met you 
And you had certain ways that they adored and loved. And that's the person personality traits that they have today. Walking like I talk it. Walking like I talk it. Yeah, I'm hearing walking like I talk it, Migos. Which is so interesting because right now, RIP R. I. P., uh, to take off. Uh, but Migos would never be again. You know, they would never come together because takeoff was gone, right? And I feel like this, I feel like you inspired multiple women in your friend group, even though y'all are not friends anymore for some of y'all. But you, you kept it 100. You kept it a, a stat. You kept it 1,000. And that's what people admire about you, but some of these people is not authentic because they're afraid. It's like, it's weird. It's like, like how does Powell become so authentic with themselves, but still become likable? They thought that if they become authentic as well, no one would like them. If that makes sense. Because let's be honest, not all real, oops, not all real authentic uh, personality traits are the same. You feel me? Like, if we were all authentic in this world, let me tell you, I'm not going to like everybody. <laughs> you know, a lot of people, they're so afraid to say what they really want to say these days. And that's why people don't really like me, because I'm not afraid to say what I want to say. <laughs> you feel me? <laughs> but this person really watched you become so liked by other people. And it was like, okay, well, if I want to be liked as well, I have to be like pile one. This is basically what I'm getting here. Walk it, walk it, talk it. Walk it, walk it, talk it. Walk it, walk it, not get talk it. Walk it, walk it, talk it. We have Bloomy. Yeah, this person is transforming right now. And when they think about that transformation, they consider you, like your personality and everything. Like, but I don't think this person tells the truth and gives you that credit. Because maybe you guys are just not friends anymore. You feel? If this is currently your friend, <laughs> some of y'all don't know that they really try to be just like you. Like, from your style to how you talk. <laughs> how you date. <laughs> some of y'all, the friendship kind of blurred a little bit. For, for a small... I could be talking to one person. Some of y'all could have had sex with your friend. This friend. Because I'm feeling that right now. Someone had sex with their friend. And it made it kind of confusing. Or things kind of blurred a little bit. Hmm. That is so interesting. But I'm curious. I want to I dive deep into this. <laughs> Ain't none of my business. I mean, if you have sex with your friend, okay. These days, people have sex with their friends. What, what, what you call that? Friends with benefits. But this is not giving me friends with benefits. This is like, it just happened. Does that make sense? Like, y'all was genu genuinely friends, and y'all just, like, happened to fuck. <laughs> That's what I'm getting <laughs> You have touched the sky. Yeah, this person daydreams about you. This person might even had a crush on you. You in, yeah. This person could have had a crush on you, or you could have had a crush on them, or they just like really admired you a lot. Just super inspired. My dear friend. Yeah, this could have been a friend. Someone that you consider a friend. Y'all could have been friends for years, okay? And y'all could still be friends. This seems like a really long-term friend. You have stranded, but I feel like someone was left in the cold. Just stranded, left behind. 
this could have been started out as a friend and y'all became in a relationship and the relationship did not work out. Oh, shoot. Day and night. This person thinks about you a lot. <laughs> I heard this person actually misses you. I hope you didn't hear that loud clashing sound with my mic. Um, okay. Continue. Oh my gosh, I keep hitting it. My bad, y'all. Anyway, if you have pure nature, yeah. It's like they did not show their whole nature. They kept themselves covered up with their makeup and with their clothes and all that shit. But, like, when it comes to their bare skin, they might even look different without makeup. They can possibly look totally different without their makeup, without their wigs and all that shit. But they rather be perceived with their wigs and makeup on because some of them don't really love who they truly are, which is pretty sad. Yeah, they saw you as the queen. The shit. Okay. <laughs> they saw you as someone that was just was full of love and life and People just fucking appreciate you and shit. And people was like, damn, you know, I want to be around pile one. And, you know, this person's like, well, I want, I want everyone to be around me too. So they kind of try to act like you. Wow. This is interesting. And by the way, guys, go ahead and click that like button. Let me know what you think about this video. Suggest any new topics, if you will. I am open for personal readings. That information could be in the description box. And subscribe and join the family. I'll see you guys later. Check out my other content. Bye. Hey, pal 2. This is for you. If you have chosen the cat's eye, this is for you. A lot of y'all guys are prophetic people, intuitive people, can read through people, read cards, go through crystal balls, and divinate for a lot of people. Y'all can have your own YouTube channel, okay? You have a very active crown, very active indigo chakra, third eye, okay? A lot of people try, try to fuck with your intuition, try to fuck with your intelligence. They be trying to make you look stupid or dumb. Some people might talk to you like you're stupid, but you really see through right through their lies. Some people think you're dumb or you won't even like. People think that you won't even like notice. Notice what they're doing, but you see it all. Someone here doesn't know that you see it all and they keep lying to you and you just know every single lie that they put on the table. And you're like, oh, these are lies. But the person looks at you like, <laughs> Pow 2 is going to eat all that up. Pow 2 is going to believe everything I say. And Pow 2, you look at them like, this motherfucker think I'm a dummy. <laughs> so Pow 2, you see through these lies. I don't even know why you're here. <laughs> but let's get into it, okay? Mm, that was funny. <laughs> all right, so what's, who's lying? Like, who's, who's lying? Who's lying? Okay, this is someone who tries to pretend like they own game. Like they own their shit, but they're really not. <laughs> we have bonus in the reverse. And I don't I don't even like to read these cards in the reverse, but I feel called to do so in this pal. Um, this person pretends like they be on the go. This person pretends like they be, you know, working hard and they, and they be, you know, on they shit. Like they be pretend like they they're a boss. They pretend they're a boss. Okay? They pretend like, you know, that like, like their business is going well because they're a boss. <laughs> but it's in the reverse. <laughs> and what this, what this is telling me, for real, for real, <laughs> is that they don't even have their shit together. I heard their work ethic, their work ethic is real shitty, okay? They have a real shitty work ethic, but they love to pretend that they got some work ethic, but they really don't. We have Harvest. Yeah, this is the type of person who loves to do a little work but receive a lot of reward, okay? This person might be the type of person who will take credit for for um, people. This person might even have a false accreditation. This person might say that they have a degree, but they really don't. Or this person might this person might have a degree, 
but they did not really earn it outright. They didn't really earn it on themselves. Like this, you know what this reminds me? When I was in college, all the cute guys, right? Well, not all the cute guys, but there was this guy that a lot of girls was crushing on. And what he would do to these females, oh my gosh, what he would do to them, he would like F them like crazy, like F them real good, right? And he would ask them to do his essays. He would ask them to do his homework. And I don't know why these girls did it. I had a guy ask me to do his essay. I was like, um, <laughs> no. <laughs> I got my own essay to write. You write yours. Okay. Yeah, this person don't don't really work for what they have. They be taking other people's ish. They either, they either take other people's credit or they be riding the backs of others. But this person likes to say like, oh, yeah, I, I did that. Oh, yeah, I worked hard for that. Oh, yeah, that was me who did it. But it was somebody else who created the whole thing from the ground up. So someone here could be lying about their accreditations. Uh, be careful of any doctors that you consult with. Be careful of... Um, like contractors, be careful of those because someone can be lying about their um, contractor credits or like someone here doesn't have their licenses or yeah, someone here can be lying about their license. Someone might not have a driver license and they drive around town. If that fits you, be careful. Okay, because these these traffic citations, depending where you are, be expensive as hell. And if you're in the state of Florida, if you keep doing that, you're going to go to jail. And that's un that's real unfortunate, but it's just how it is in the legal system, for real. Anyway. <laughs> yeah, this person likes to <laughs> act like they got the power. They got the power to do anything. But really, they using other people's power. This is, some, this is like an energetic vampire. This is an energetic vampire. Okay? They siphon. From people people around them might complain that they're tired exhausted okay not only look at not only look at this person but look around look at the people around them okay like the people around them might look tired like look at their spouse or her look at their spouse look at their um, girlfriend boyfriend and they're always fucking tired okay this is honestly giving me an energetic vampire. Like, like for real. I'm just going to keep it. This is what I see. And then the, the love card, this is love. It's in the reverse. Like, they always like to act like they give a fuck about others and they care. But outright, they're very selfish. Okay. There's something dark about this person, but they, they love to come off as nice, kind. They love to come off as a gentleman. I I, I, I heard um, they have to come off as like, it's weird. Like, I heard, I heard it's all a facade. So, yeah, they really do their best to come off as someone that can never harm, hurt, lie, gossip. But they be gossiping, child. They be lying, child. But they try to come off like, like a charmer. They can come off as very charming, okay? Y'all could be dating this person. <laughs> yeah, it's like, look, it's like a dark side to them, okay? Here's that darkness to them, and here's what you see. Well, you see both, but a lot of people, a lot of people, they see this, okay? But you're able to see all of them, okay? I heard they have really pretty eyes. So y'all could like have a crush on this person, but this person does some weird ass shit. They just kind of have you like, mm. some of y'all need to do like a cord cutting from this person. Okay. This is interesting. Yeah, some of y'all need to do like a cord cutting. Yeah. And some of y'all need to take your power back from this person. 
Some of y'all, since y'all dated this person or been around this person, you've been tired, stressed, worn out, tired. It's this person's energy, like, siphoning. Protect your energy so this person doesn't have the ability to siphon your energy no matter how long you're around them. Shield yourself. Shield your energy. Okay? I heard for some of you guys, this can actually be a family member. Some of y'all here are divine feminines, high priestesses. Okay? I just heard Kodak Black. <laughs> Jesus. This person might listen. <laughs> this person might like to listen to Kodak Black. Okay. I don't know. Or they look like Kodak Black. They look like Kodak. <laughs> oh, no. Wow, Divine Feminine came out again. Well, it was on the bottom, but it came out. Okay. This person becomes envious when you just are happy. Like, yo, this... Okay, I'm sorry, but this is coming off as a clinical narcissist. I am not... Okay, disclaimer. I am not a psychologist. <laughs> but I do read the DSM-5. And this is giving me clinical... <laughs> this is giving me clinical narcissism. This person gets envious and just when you're fucking happy, bro. Just when you're happy, they get mad upset. They don't like that shit. They don't like when you're happy. And that's one of the main, like, characteristics of narcissists. They just, they just don't like when you're happy. They don't like it. Okay? They don't like when you achieve something. They don't like it when you be glowing and shit. They don't like it. So they do shit to drain that light of yours. They, they do shit to try to make you tired. Okay? Like, if this is, like, your job, like, they might try to put more work on you so you can become more tired so it can dull your light. If this is, like, in a relationship, they might try to have sex with you so fucking much. And they be draining your energy every time y'all fuck. If this is a family member, they might try to argue with you a lot all the fucking time, make you tired and exhausted. These people intentionally try to drain your energy or your light purposely. They get do it on purpose. These people might try to like to kind of get under your skin. But at the same time, they try to like be like a like a, a gentle persona. Like try, they try to carry that shit, but deep down, like, they're dealing with some narcissistic uh, traits. Right? Interesting! Mm. This juice tastes good. Mm. Anyway, I'm drinking body armor. Man, that juice tastes so right. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, yeah, protect yourself. Oh, wow. Okay, it says it increases agility, allowing you to fly beneath the radar of your enemies and progress ahead of your competitors. Cat's eye enhances night vision, giving you the ability to see through the shadows and high definition and assess heightened levels of intuition by opening the crown chakra. So, honestly, y'all see y'all enemies. Y'all see these liars. You see these narcissists. You see right through them. You know who these people are. I ain't I, I even got to tell you who these people are. You you know. You know who these people are, pal, too. Uh, I don't know which much to say. I mean, let's 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 take out another deck. Let's do that. I'm in love with the Coco. Why am I hearing that? This person might actually be... This person might have secret addictions, which a lot of... Narcissists tend to do like they tend to self soothe because for some reason handling handling this world is hard for them for real for real I, I guess this is my compassion coming through. I am a compassionate person Um, this person might struggle with living on this earth So they might try to use drugs to kind of self soothe and all that shit because they know something about them ain't right So they self soothe to escape themselves. So this person might have a porn addiction sex addiction drug addiction whatever, okay? Yeah, this give me clinical Narcissism. Oh, God. <laughs> God, protect me from this energy. Lord Jesus. Um, unfortunately, they might have like a, like a crack addict father or crack addict mother that could have been raised around addictions. And I'm not making fun of this person and how they was brought up, but this is like how you guys can identify 
or for y'all honestly to confirm what your intuition has already been telling you because this is a very intuitive pal, all right? This person tries to do things to not let you listen to your own intuition because your intuition is telling you like, because listen, it says, can you hear me in the reverse and listen in the reverse? Some of y'all, y'all not listen to the warning signs of this person. My home is my castle. My home is my castle. This person is trying, they, 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 oh my gosh. This person might like, tries to play house with you. Like y'all could be like, and the connection with them, but they don't call you, they don't call you theirs. They don't call you like my girlfriend, my boyfriend, but y'all be staying together and all that type of shit is weird. Like this is what I'm getting. Some of y'all just live with each other, but I'm, I'm getting some of y'all need to listen to your intuition. Like, what do you need to do about this situation? Some of y'all need to like actually like dip out, walk out. For some of y'all, this person actually drains you to the point where you can't even tap into your own intuition. So if your intuition is not as heightened like it used to be or it's not the same, it could be someone draining you and you need to take care of that so you can tap right back into your intuition again. Some of y'all don't understand that y'all can be straight up mediums and y'all don't even know it. You let this person drain you so much, you, you, you don't even know your own power. You don't even know your own... Because they're draining your power. How can you know your power if someone's always draining it and using it? You feel me? So some of y'all need to tap back and see your power. I heard reclaim, reclaim, reclaim your power. Every day, reclaim it. Say some affirmations to reclaim your power. Because once you get to know your power, you don't want to be around this. Nah. Or you won't You won't entertain this. Because these type of people will always be around, pal, too. They will always be around. That's just how this world is designed. But you're just learning how to deal with these motherfuckers. Like, for real, for real. Excuse my language. <laughs> y'all just learn how to deal. Shit, we all grown. Damn. I can't cuss a little bit. Anyway. Woo. Pow, too. I feel like I, I ain't got nothing else to say to you because y'all real intuitive. Y'all just need to listen to your intuition when it comes to... Uh, I heard advice. Okay, what's the advice? What's the advice, spirit, for this person? Like, what do they need to do? Because they already see this person. They already know, like, okay, they ain't really about ish. But what do they need to do? So they can protect themselves. So they can... I just heard, listen to your own intuition. Like, for real, for real. Like, that's what I heard. Meditate. Meditate on a daily basis. This person loves to appeal to empaths. They know what empaths like. Like us empaths, we love to meditate. We love to do yoga. We love, you know, um, eating right. They, they know what we like. So they try to appeal to us and have conversations about things that we like. So we can kind of let that our guard. Like, oh, he likes yoga like me too. Oh, he likes meditation just like I do too. Oh, well, he's not really a bad person. Or she's not really a bad person because we like the same shit. Just because y'all like the same shit don't mean they about shit. You feel me? Just gotta, I just got to keep it 100. And don't let your guard down because like... <laughs> Y'all tend to like the same old stuff. Prosperity begins. Focus on you and your money. Something is telling me that you're a little bit too focused on this person. Focus on yourself, okay, a whole lot more. Or something tells me that you're focused on these type of people. Some of y'all can be angry and bitter towards them. Like, why did this way? Why did that way? Why did this to me? Why did that? Some of y'all can be angry and bitter towards these people. You need to let that shit go. And just focus on yourself and heal. You feel? Yeah, mental conflict. Because y'all be too much in your head with these types of people. Okay, don't let them get don't let them get in your head because that's what nurses love to do. They love to get into your head, make you doubt yourself, psych yourself out, um, have you question your own intuition. Okay, trust me, I've been there. I know. <laughs> I know. I know. Yeah, power. It says P O W E R. Power. Take your power back. You hear me? Yeah. See. Ooh! It says deception and motherfucking envy. Didn't I say this person might not even fucking like that you be happy and shit? They don't even like that shit. They hate it when you're happy. They hate it. And they be giving you ill advice and stuff. Stop asking for this motherfucker for advice, man. Stop asking them to give you answers, man. You got the answers. You got the answers. 
Some of y'all need to communicate less to this person. Some of y'all be, be communicating too much to this motherfucker. And be confident, man. Don't let this person rob your confidence and, and rob you. Don't let this person suffer road you. All right? Anyway, pal 2, I'm going to end this here. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Yeah, and this person is going to act kind of stupid a little bit. When you get when you get your power back, that's how they always act. But if they do, just keep your distance and, and stay prayed up. And do your protection work. You hear me? And that's at all times. Stay prayed up at all times. Protect yourself at all times. I keep hitting the mic. If you keep hearing me, like, hitting the mic, the mic, the mic. <laughs> if you hear me hit the microphone too many times, I apologize. I'm real hype right now, as you can tell. But I love you guys, and I see you guys later. Subscribe and join the family. Like this video and comment below. I see you guys later. Bye, love. All right, so pile three. We have Lapidrites, right? Lapidrite. For some of y'all, I'm just channeling right now. For some of y'all, who's lying to you? could be your whole family or your family. There's certain things about your childhood that's not true. Some of y'all question your memories of your childhood. Um, this could be like your mama lying about your daddy. Your daddy lying about your mama. Okay? And y'all guys are learning to view your family for who they really are, not for how you was told. Some of y'all, um, like, you, you might be aware of your mama's family side, but you're not aware of your daddy's family side. So some of y'all could be uh, reaching out to that side of the family, and it can be telling you some truths about your family on your mama's side, if that makes sense. Anyway, let's see what the lies are. Who's lying? Wow, you have transformation twice. So, Lapis right on the back of this card, right? It says transformation, magic, imagination. And look. Transformation card is backwards, but you can see it. Transformation. <laughs> okay, a lot of y'all are changing your viewpoints, okay? Like, a lot of y'all used to let your whole family or a group of people influence you on how you see yourself and how you see your family. Oh my God, this is so crazy. Okay, y'all. <laughs> Okay, so on the back of here, it says transformation, right? This says transformation on the back. It says magic. Here says abracadabra. That's the magic card. Woo! A lot of y'all could have been raised in certain religions that have basically taught-ish about magic, law of attraction and manifestations. And now y'all realizing, like, hey, this shit is real. Like, I can manifest my whole life right if I do it right. <laughs> and there could be a couple of religions that say, oh, that's devil's work. But I'm like, wait a minute. I mean, but, 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 ain't working with God part of law of attraction? Ain't working with God is a form of manifestation? Like, <laughs> a lot of y'all are realizing certain things about religion. And spirituality. So a lot of y'all are, are kind of unpacking some beliefs that are outdated, okay? And this might feel like lies to you, but I don't think your family tried to lie to you. I think they just try to teach you what was taught to them, basically. Um, yeah, because you yeah, have my home is my castle. A lot of y'all really, like, y'all used to basically, um, how can I say this? Y'all really, like, base your beliefs or used to base your own beliefs on how you were raised at the home. But you guys are elevating from that. Like, your mind, it, your mind is expanding. You're becoming more of a free thinker or questioning your old ways of thinking. So this could be self-imposed lies. This could be lies that you have on yourself and you're realizing it's not even real. And that's helping you to transform power three. I like this. Some of y'all could be doing shadow work. Okay. 
really diving deep within yourself and unpacking things, attachments, beliefs, okay, that don't work. A lot of you guys could be working on your self-esteem, hiding your self-esteem. A lot of you guys are learning to look away from your haters, learning to look away from people who ain't really about, you know, elevating you. Because I see you guys elevating. I see you guys just climbing up the ladder, okay? A lot of you guys are honestly manifesting. A lot of you, a lot of you guys have been recently proven that manifestations is real. A lot of y'all are realizing like, oh my God, like, oh my God, like, I just manifested this. So what they say is real, like, we can manifest, you know what I mean? <laughs> like, a lot of y'all been like, huh, let me try, let me try. Let me try this law of attraction thing. Let me try this manifestation technique. And then you manifest it. He was like, damn, it's real. <laughs> so y'all can be at that moment. Hey, I had that moment before. Okay, had me questioning. Like, damn, like, I thought I knew how this shit worked. I thought I knew how the world worked until I learned manifestation, law of attraction. <laughs> shit. So y'all could be trying to manifest your own home. Some of y'all could have had, like, practitioners lie to you saying that you don't know how to manifest on your own. That's a fucking lie. Some some practitioners try to basically scam you out of your money saying that, oh, you know, well, it won't manifest until you let me, you know, conjure up this for you. Or your manifestations won't work until you, you know, uh, uh, burn this candle. Hey, this candle is costing. It will cost you. If you, if you get this candle, it costs you 500 <laughs> Like, what? 500 from a candle? But, oh, it's not just the candle. It's a whole ritual. I'm like, okay. And, hey, y'all, like, conjuring work should be expensive. Mind you. it Because that's work. That's work that they really put it in for real, for real, y'all. But at the same time, it's like, what they also didn't tell you is that you can act. You, you, pal three, is that you're very powerful. Like, you are a conjurer yourself. You are a high priestess, high priest yourself. There's a partition that lot you talking about. You ain't, you you ain't no 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 voodoo queen. You're not. Let, let me do it for you. Or, uh, like like let's let's work with the expert. Don't do it alone. And yeah, okay, working alone can be dangerous, especially if you're very novice or new to it. So yes, yeah, study, 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 study. Learn to protect yourself and all that shit. You feel me? But at the same time, if someone had had you in your head talking about you. You don't know how to manifest, but you actually do. So, yeah, so someone could be also lying to you that they, someone could be like all nice to see your face, but when they go home, they put magic on you. And I'm not trying to scare nobody. But as a high priestess, as a, um, well, I'm not saying I am a high priestess, but I have read cards for high priestesses and high priests before. And it's like, it's part of their journey. Like, before they understood how magic worked, they had to have magic be done to them. And they had to be their own guinea pigs to break whatever hex that, that it was. And then when they learned to break hexes, then they were basically, that was part of the initiation of a high priest or high priestess. So some of y'all could be going through these type of initiations and don't realize what you're going for initi initiations for. So a lot of people join a lot of organizations to, um, to become high priests or high priestess. So someone could lie to you and say, well, in order to become a high priest, a high priestess, you have to join my house. You have to join my house to become a high priest or high priestess. Listen, your own ancestors can initiate you. You don't need no house to become a high priestess or a high priestess. Whew, damn. <laughs> that was a lot that came out. They must really want me to say that. Whoo! That was a powerful message, y'all. Like, y'all can... Okay, I heard self-initiate. Self-initiate. So some of could be self-initiates, okay? Like your whole life has been initiating you to become that conjurer, that high priest of the high priest. You understand? Whew, that was powerful. And a lot of y'all don't even know how powerful y'all are. Y'all sitting on your power, like for real, for real. Don't even know that you can wreck shit, build shit. <laughs> a lot of y'all don't know. Yeah, resurrection. A lot of y'all can, a lot of y'all went through a lot of ego deaths, ego deaths. Y'all, y'all basically like died and became something different and died and became someone different. A lot of personality changes here. 
some of y'all can have like Pluto in your personality houses, like you know, or like yeah, some of can, some of y'all can have Pluto in your first house, basically. And uh, see, a lot of y'all be sitting on your power with this boldness in reverse. And some of y'all could be coming for pile two, by the way. Um, if you're if you are also drawing a pile two, I suggest you go to pile two. Um, we have um determination. Some of y'all need to realize, okay, I'm a fucking powerful volcano and I can do whatever the fuck I want to do. And some of y'all have these rules that are very limiting, okay? These self-limiting beliefs. And pal, if you don't get mad at me, but for some of y'all who's lying to you is yourself, okay? Some of y'all are saying that y'all not powerful. You're not this. You're nobody. Don't say that to yourself. Learn to say more positive affirmations. Get rid of these negative affirmations. We have, oh shit, I'm knocking the microphone. Excuse me, y'all. Uh, we have, um, we have, what is this? Creative luck. Some of y'all could be Asian, Hawaiian, her bed to me. Some of y'all could be bed to me. And y'all don't have to practice magic like everybody else. Y'all don't have to practice magic like everybody else. Do your own shit. You have creation. Yeah, y'all have the ability to manifest. Y'all are like like big manifestors and y'all don't realize this. Y'all don't you have inspiration. And listen, y'all gonna inspire so many people. People wanna be like you. So versus trying to be like other people, be yourself. Be yourself. <laughs> You have inner strength. Y'all are some powerful motherfuckers. Some of y'all be thinking y'all y'all don't know how to overcome. Okay. Some of y'all think y'all okay. Pile three. Some of y'all think y'all have hexes on you on your bloodline. You are that powerful to break them. Pile three. If you think that's the case. And y'all, to be honest, the real curse will be your own mind. How you think. You understand it's mind over matter. So sometimes the only thing you need to do to break your curse is to change how you think, your mindset. Because usually women who are like, let's say you come from a family where love and relationships, you know, that's that's a hex on your family. Maybe it's a generational curse. If you look at these women in your family, you might realize that they have very negative thoughts about love and relationships. It'd be their own minds that curse the relationship. Okay, so we got to do differently. Okay, think more positive. And protect yourself and do whatever you do to break hexes. You feel me? Because it's it's working. Okay, we have boundaries. A lot of y'all need to protect yourself because once you step into this power, not everyone's going to like that shit. Okay, you might even have people that try to attack you. Like, wow, like how do you really think they're powerful on their own? We'll see. Protect yourself. Protect yourself. Because y'all y'all could be working with people or you guys used to work with people who don't believe in karma. So they think they can put anything on you without any consequence. Shit. I'm not trying to scare nobody, but this is the world that we live in. A lot of people don't talk about this shit. People want, when people talk about spirituality, they want to talk about rainbows and unicorns and, 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 and spirits and angels. But people don't want to talk about the demons. People want to talk about how people really use their left hand more than their, their right hand. And listen, there's nothing wrong with left hand magic. In my opinion, but there's people who really use the love hand more than anything else. <laughs> Be careful with those people, okay? You have inner beauty. Like, y'all have, listen, you have the power and the ability to do all sorts of magic beauty magic, career money magic, domination magic. Like, you are overall. Because, you know, every, to me, every conjurer or conjurette has their own specialties, their own skill set. You have a lot of skill sets, a lot of areas that you're really good at, okay, when it comes to magic. So, some of y'all need to try all types of magic because y'all have, listen, once y'all get your magic, like, in order and when you become confident in your own magic, you're going to, like, a lot of money and people will come to you for your work. You understand? Okay, the song that I'm listening to right now is Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. 
Um, I love listening to this song to empower myself. Um, so I give this song to you, Pal3, if you need to listen to it. It's called Girl on Fire by Alicia Keys. Y'all need to be in that energy. That you're on fire. Look at this. Look at this volcano on fire. Look at that. This is you. This is you being powerful. You are this volcano. But a lot of y'all have not... A lot of y'all has a lot of y'all have been like a, a very inactive volcano. You haven't erupted yet. You haven't let that power erupt. Okay? Like you need to let all that lava just flow down. You feel me? And if anyone wanna come close to you, they can get burned if they want to. They can they can mm hmm They can be scorched by their uh <laughs> they can be scorched by your lava if they wanna get close to you and do some stupid shit. Like, listen, a lot of y'all, if y'all don't know this by now, a lot of y'all's protection spells is ruthless. Y'all, okay? Like, once y'all get impact on how to protect yourselves, man, your protection spells, people will cry for mercy, okay? People will cry for mercy if they try to mess with you. That's how your protection spells is that powerful. <laughs> Damn. Wow, Power 3, very powerful. Um, I'm going to end this here. Subscribe, join the family, like this video, comment below what you think, suggest any new topics that I should do next, and I might pick your topic. And you guys have a great day. Uh, check out my other content, or a great night. <laughs> Bye.